up YouTube? My name is Fly, spelled with an I, and this is Fly Heritage, where each and every Tuesday, we talk travel. I was running through the six with my woes. You know how that she know. You know how that she know. In this case, the six is indeed Toronto, but there weren't any woes because I was by myself. So I'm super excited about today's video because it answers one of the most frequently asked questions I get. No matter wherever I go, people always ask me what I did there or if they go, what they should do while there. So I'm going to tell you all 10 things that I did or wanted to do while in Toronto. This list is composed of activities that I actually completed and then things that didn't make the cut due to time crunch issues. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy. Toronto Island Park is a nice, quick getaway from the hustle and bustle of metropolitan Toronto. So the entire makeup of Toronto Island Park um, consists of four main islands, and of course there are beaches. It has trails, and it has amusement park rides for kids as well. And it is a phenomenal way to see Toronto from another side. There's a beautiful view of the skyline at sunset. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a truly worthwhile experience if you're in Toronto. The Toronto Zoo is also a great attraction to see. Normally, I wouldn't put a zoo on a top 10 list, but the Toronto Zoo has pandas. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? So I will go to the Toronto Zoo just to see the cutie pie pandas. Just like I went to the zoo in Australia, because I wanted to see koala bears and kangaroos. The Royal Ontario Museum is one of the largest museums in North America. I think there are something around six million items there. Um, it's a very, very popular museum to visit. There's also the Art Gallery of Ontario, which is in Toronto. And from what I hear, it's absolutely beautiful architecturally, um, but I didn't get a chance to go there. But if you're a museum person, check out those two. Also, you have King Street, you have Queen Street, you have the Y Street, that's what I call it because I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Y-O-N-G-E. I don't know how to pronounce it. Will someone put the pronunciation in the, com in the comments, please? On those streets, you'll find bars, you'll find restaurants, um, little unique shops that are hidden, like hidden gems. And at nighttime, the streets come alive. They are popping, they are jumping. It's people, it's really, really lively. I had a great time just really walking around on those three streets during my time there. If you are interested in feeling Caribbean vibes, you should go when Carnival is in town. Caravana weekend is usually the last weekend of July to the like the first few days in August. I tell you, it's one big fun party. You could also go to the CN Tower. That's one of the main attractions in Toronto. Going to the top, you could also do a little skywalk at the CN Tower. There's a restaurant um, at the top of the tower that revolves. So the CN Tower does have things for everyone if you're feeling adventurous or you're, you're a thrill seeker that likes heights. One thing that I did not get to do while I was there was catch a game. Whether you see the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Toronto so Blue Jays or the Toronto Raptors, it's always exciting to see the home team play in their home stadium or in their home arena. I did go to a Toronto Blue Jays rally. I just happened upon it. And of course, when you happen upon something awesome, you just participate. You gotta go to the, the Harborfront Center. There are so many shops, bars, restaurants, just a multitude of people. It's a really fun place to go to experience the vibes of the city while also getting beautiful scenery while overlooking the water. The harbor front is an absolute must do. If you do nothing else in Toronto, nothing else, take the 90 minute ride to Niagara Falls. Have to go to Niagara Falls. It is absolutely breathtaking to see that amount of water rushing down over cliffs and to hear it roar, to hear the thunderous roar of it. It was 
It was magnificent. It was absolutely magnificent. Have to go to Niagara Falls. You have to go. I did the Maiden of the Mist voyage. So that's a boat ride where you actually get on the boat and you go through the falls. If you don't want to get on the boat, they have helicopter rides that take you right over it. There's also something where you could walk through the actual fall. So they carved out some piece of the rock and you can actually walk through it. I mean, come on. Is that not awesome? The second part that goes hand in hand with that is to allow yourself time to explore the surrounding area. They have a Ripley's Museum um, there. They have tons of food places and beautiful parks that all surround the Niagara Falls, Ontario area. It was one of the most memorable times. Try to explore the surrounding area because that really completes your trip. There are so many other sites and things to do in Toronto, but those are just the top 10 according to me. Let me know what's on your top 10 list. Does it mirror mine? Is it the exact same? Would you take out some things from mine and add things to yours? Let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to read what you all have to say. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Fly, spelled with an I, and this is Fly Heritage. Catch up with me on my blog at flyheritage.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at flyheritage. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Don't forget to come back next week. Until then, stay lifted and loving light. Bye.